what is going on ladies and gentlemen today we're going to be doing some different types of techniques with shooting now i've done outside the foot i've done laces i've done power shot and stuff like that but today we're going to do some curving on the ball there's me and then there's brad here as well but if you do enjoy the video please leave a like tell all your friends share it wherever you can and let's get into it So what I'm trying to show in today's video is trying to get the factor of the ball going straight towards the keeper and then fading off to one side. It might be on the right hand side of it, it might be on the left hand side. Now there's two ways to do this. First we're going to look at is hitting that top left hand corner if you're a right footer or hitting the top right hand corner if you're a left footer, the in swinging curl. So the idea of it is that you're going to try and make it look like it's going into the keeper's hands and then last second just turn and go into that corner. And I've got some very good examples to show you today so you're going to see a few, you're probably seeing a couple now. Well, let me just talk you through the parts of the foot that I use and the run up and stuff like that. So these are steps one, two, three, and he's gonna fall through with the ball. So with me, I don't take a certain amount of steps. I could if I wanted to, sometimes I might do it, but normally I'll just, you know, I'll give myself a bit of distance and I'll run up quite fast to start with until I find my position where I'm gonna put my, my left foot to shoot my right. So I'll start here, little run up, and then I shoot. So there's no real steps that you need to take, but for Brad, it works best with three, and for me, it's just on the mid of steps. Just whatever's preference for you. So you see where his foot is here. So he's hitting it with this part of his foot. So I just show it. It's just this part here. It's like your big toe, essentially. It's the hardest point in your big toe, too. I can't remember the name of it. I'm not very good at science, but it's this bit right here. So when he's connecting with the ball, because the ball's obviously straight that way, he's connecting just around the right hand side. So let me just show you. So say, so this valve here is the center. He's hitting it around here. That way he can spin the ball that way. If he kicks it straight, the ball's just going to roll forward. If he kicks it with this here, it's going to just curl the ball like that. So he'll start his foot just behind the ball. One, two, three. That's his steps. I run quite fast when I start, so I'll run up quite fast, so I, I line myself up to shoot. So there's different techniques. Both of them work. It's just, it's up to you. It's preference. For this one, I didn't touch on it much because I, I didn't feel like it was as necessary as the one I was trying to show you. But on the outside swing, so you want to try and make it go past the post as if it's going to look like it's going wide and then last second curl back in. There was a few examples there you can see. We get close on a few. Um, but we just touched on it for five minutes just to, to kind of give you an idea of what the other direction looks like. So this might be the most vital bit of information I can give you on this video. Now, basically when we do these curved shots, you see that the curve literally happens at the very end. And that's all to do with the timing and the pace that you put on the shot. Now this is where a lot of people go wrong and I haven't seen many YouTubers explain this or, or anyone explain this really. But when you have the shot, you can put curve on it all you want, but if it's not got enough power or it's got too much power, it's going to totally ruin the shot. Now if I put enough power on, my technique with the curve doesn't even have to be that good. So anyone can do that. That's why it's so basic. As long as you get the right amount of power and the technique is there a little bit, 
you're going to get that curve no matter what. As long as you're hitting it with that big toe, like I mentioned, you can turn the ball whichever way you want to go, whether it's the outside of the foot, the inside of the foot, the laces, whatever you're trying to do, you can still get that curve at the very end of the shot. You don't have to put that much curve on it. People are so focused on trying to kick the ball on the side so that it gets loads and loads of spin. You don't want that. You want the power just as much as the curve, and that's how I can get them shots to just dip and curve really last minute. Um, Brad's and mine examples on these two shots right here, like the best examples, that's why I've got them on repeat, because you can see the ball is directly straight at the keeper and then it just fades off to the end because with the power you don't actually need to put the curve that everyone else tries to focus on mainly it's all about the timing and the pace of the shot just as much as it is the curve so i hope what i've touched on and what i've showed you helped you and um, if it didn't then i'm sure i'm going to do more versions of this more advanced versions of this as well if you want to see more tutorials like this with the outside the foot the laces and stuff like that i can do them if you want to see them thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like and i'll see you in the next video